In the front of our halls, students pass by sets of history cases with documentation dating back to the opening of McKinney High School and integration of Doty. I'm not always looking at them when I'm going into the clinic. And so we just started reading about the history and, um, you know, realizing that, you know, there's a lot more in depth to McKinney High School than we originally thought. It wasn't until 1913 that the school's first yearbook was produced, the Bison. In 1915, the first choir program started, first band program, first student council, and first German club. It wasn't until 1925 that McKinney High School became the Lions, when the newly founded Lions Club bought our football team new uniforms. Students changed the mascot from Bison to the Lions in honor of this club. McKinney High has been like a really big legacy, like we are the original. Um, and so they're kind of important um, in the sense of that it, it's our history, it's like what we've grown from. And I think, I think they just need to not be ignored in the sense that, you know, it's, it's our legacy and it's what we try to improve on. The class of 1956 was the first and only class to graduate in white gowns. They wear the white and gold stole. Yeah, I would just encourage everyone, you know, to come during your lunch or in the morning when you're waiting around, you know, before the bell rings to come and read it. Um, you know, the big significance about these cases here is that this is where the history started. McKinney High School is the original school, and so the other high schools don't get to have that. They don't have that history. They don't have you know, the the backbone that this school has. Though most students ignore these cases, we should take time to appreciate the rich history of our school and community. This has been Andriana Chamorro, Dulce Nunez, and Landon Harrison, signing off from HS1.